how is everyone doing today? Sorry, I'm trying to look at the camera. Uh, it's 10:59 here in Austin, Texas. It's an hour back from the East Coast, and I'm trying to I'm trying to go to bed early tonight. So I want to peace out right before I end this video. But got on the glasses tonight. Got a nice new haircut. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if you don't like it. Tell me if you like anything about me. Tell me what you don't like about me. Tell me my weaknesses. But anyway, I just wanted to make a video because, well, I don't make videos anymore. And I've gotten off the video grind and I definitely have not given it up. I just need to figure out what I want to do next. I've been doing a lot of different things the last three months. Um, just trying a lot of things out. And I know where I want to go, but I have not come nearly close to accomplishing my goals. And uh, I need to push harder. But I am on. I am going to bed early, so that is one of my goals. You got to think short term to go long term. Whatever. I can tell you all the crap today. But what I wanted to do is I actually wanted to make a motivational video. <laughs> Sorry, I have so many. I've I have a different window up than what camera I'm looking at. But see, you know what I just watched? I just watched a great movie scene, and I realized why this movie was so good. And I I've watched this movie probably two other times, and I didn't even realize. The metaphor of life. I watched The Matrix. Now, if you don't like The Matrix, I understand. It's a complicated plot. No, it's actually the, the plot is not the plot is not very complicated. It's just not explained. And I actually watched the if you watch The Matrix, the animated series, it actually explains everything. The movies do not explain everything as much. Basically, The Matrix, the the movies explain. Ever explain like the biggest portions that are very hard to grasp in like little scenes. For instance, I don't think many people know in the Matrix that what the okay. So the robots basically okay. If you want to basic plot of the Matrix is the robots have taken over the planet because AI got smart, kind of like Terminator, and decided uh, decided a huge war against the humans. So what the robots did is they made these special clouds, these basic special clouds to block out the sun. So the world is blocked out from the sun. That's why whenever they show the real world scenes in the Matrix, they're underground, or when they go above ground, it's very dark. But there is one scene in the, in the Matrix 2, I believe, where for an instance, they're like in the spaceship and they're on a roller coaster ride and they go up and they go above the clouds and they see the sun for five seconds and then they go down. And that is a big deal because they've never seen the sun before, even though they're humans. I believe they haven't seen the sun before. It's been a long time. It's something like that. But they don't, I think they don't actually say that, for instance. You're supposed to kind of grasp that part that the, that's what the robots have did. In the animated series, they explain this, and this made a lot of sense. But anyway, in the Matrix, in the Matrix, they do just that. The robots have taken over, and they have put everybody in a program. And in and, and the program, everyone just goes through life. They just come through, and they just go to their job, and nothing happens wrong to them, or they simply just knew it. And then you enter Neo. Neo, and there are these agents, which are other programs, which make sure the program runs well. They make sure if anyone gets out of line, they stop them right there. But they enter in the rebellion. They enter in Morpheus, people who fight against them, people who want something more. And then there enters our hero in the story, Neo, which is one, an anagram for one. If you switch around the letters, it spells one. And Neo, Neo can stop the bullets. Neo can kill the viruses. Neo can say, no, I can stop the bullets. I can be that good. And that is what I want you to be. That is what I want to be. That is what I want everyone to be. I want everyone to be Neo and take the cord out and be outside the program. When you're Neo, you are the one. You are the mystical one. You are the one who works together. You are the one who stops the bullets. You are the one when everyone says no, you say yes. You say yes. You're Neo in the Matrix. Life is the Matrix. The movie is a metaphor about life. I will never watch that movie again because it's not good. But watch the scene. Type in Neo, the one on YouTube, when he stops the bullets and Morpheus goes, he is the one. He is the one. Remember, you got the blue pill or you got the red pill. You have the acceptance of reality or you have the denial of reality. The first movie is so good. It has all these metaphors. I don't know about the second and third movie. But be the Matrix. Okay? I haven't seen a movie in a long time. I need to watch some. 
Um, I've heard Eternal, 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 whatever. It's got Drew Carey in it. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It's when he tries to erase his mind, but he doesn't want to erase it. Anyway, I think I've heard it's very good, actually. Um, that's a movie. That's probably the only movie on my to-do list. But yes, be Neo. I will try to be Neo, too. Try to be Eminem. And I also have... I also have my favorite quote here by Martin Luther King. I'll try to zoom in it. It simply says, To judge a true man is not where he stands in times of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in times of controversy and adversity. But where he stands in times of challenge and controversy. Okay. Um, yeah. Everyone, have a great Thursday. And enjoy your life. I don't know. That's that's my quote from MLK. Uh, anyone? I oh, don't know. I just watched. I watched a little biography on him. I watched biographies on Tupac, Gandhi, and him. Uh, this man. I don't know. He's the truth. I don't know. Anyone who goes out and gets shot, gets your house burned down, gets death threats your whole life, to get you, to do what you gotta do. Respect. Respect. Respect for my homie G. Martin Luther King. I'm not, I'm not even, that's, a, that's what a gangster does. That is a gangster, if you like being a gangster. Tupac was a gangster, too. He got killed for doing what he was doing. Some people still think Tupac is alive, which a lot of this documentary talked about. And Gandhi, Gandhi again got killed, got assassinated. I didn't know Gandhi got assassinated. Anyway, um, those are, shout out to the three gangsters. Three people. In their lives, they were Neo. They were the Matrix. They saw the bad, and they rebelled. And you know what? If you can just help Neo, that's good too. But everybody wants to be Neo, so why don't be Neo? Make your Matrix. Find the Matrix. But you're in the Matrix. And the funny thing is, you can do whatever you want in the Matrix. You can stop the bullets. You may not be able to do it today, but you can. <laughs>